A wind advisory still with us until 1 a.m. for the counties close to the lake and also parts of Will and DuPage where wind gusts could clock 45 miles per hour. We hit 51 mile per hour winds at O'Hare, 50 mile per hour winds at the lakefront. So gusty winds for us tonight. Tomorrow will be breezy as well, but there's a cold front I'm tracking that's going to be crossing the area in the afternoon. With it comes an increase of cloud cover, mild air ahead of it, cold air behind it, and also scattered showers around tomorrow evening into the night. And it's a very light chance, mainly from sunset to midnight. But not everybody will see the rain, but we will all feel the chilly changes on the other side of the front. Winds are strong now. We have a mild wind flow, though. 39 mile per hour winds now at O'Hare. Winds to 35 in Waukegan. So it's windy and mild. Clear to high pressures in control. Here's the first front that I'm watching. It is scattering clouds and rain here. And even some snow on the cold side of the system for the Dakotas. The whole front is going to progress closer to Chicago during the day tomorrow, but we start decent. Partly sunny skies, very mild, 51 degrees in the morning. That's usually our daytime high. And then again, low 60s for us. We hit 62 today. We'll be right around there tomorrow, but notice the clouds increasing with that front. And once the sun goes down, sure, a few scattered showers are possible, especially focusing on northwest Indiana and south of the Kankakee River Valley, and then the cooler air sets in. So it's a pair of cold fronts I'm watching. The first one coming through mid morning. It's the second one that's going to pull those shower chances up from the south, especially for Indiana. And once that front leaves Wednesday morning, but especially Wednesday night and Thursday, chilly air sits overhead and temperatures are going to be noticeably colder. In fact, we go from 62 tomorrow with those evening showers to 42 on Wednesday. So we lose a whole bunch of mild air there with that cold front front and we watch the temperatures plummet because at three in the afternoon tomorrow low mid 60s and then by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon we're going to struggle low 40s at three o'clock on Wednesday and then Wednesday night many of us are going to drop into the 20s for overnight lows and then during the day Thursday I'm thinking many places will hover in the 30s maybe touching 40 degrees for a high temperature but it is going to be noticeably colder both Wednesday and for Thursday but especially on Thursday so it is Mild tomorrow and breezy, maybe an evening shower once the sun goes down 62. Then we drop it to 42 on Wednesday and then only 40. And I'm being optimistic there. A lot of models want to hold us in the 30s. But then you know what? We do fine as we head for the weekend, the Easter weekend, 55 degrees with full sun on your Friday. And there we go, Brad. We are stringing some 70s together. Easter Sunday wow. looking gorgeous. 74 degrees for the daytime high. So even if we have that little cool spell here, midweek. We certainly make up for it with a beautiful weekend ahead. We will forget about it. Yeah. Thanks, MK.